When you start out crocheting in the round, it can be confusing as where to mark your stitch. So today we're gonna to chat about how to mark your rounds. Hi guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society. If you're just starting out with crocheting in the round, it can get a little tricky on where to mark your rounds. There's more than one way, and I'll walk you through the options and then you can choose your favorite one. First things first, you need to mark your stitch with something, and my go-to are these stitch markers. They're super convenient and easy to use, or you can use a scrap piece of yarn to keep your spot. I also have a separate video on all the different options you can use in lieu of a stitch marker. We're starting out with our imaginary pattern, and it says to make six single crochet into a magic circle and that's what we have here. I'll link some magic circle videos down below. We're gonna start out by counting our stitches. Here I'm gonna look for these little V's. I have one V, two, three, four, I have five and here is, oops, sorry about that. Here is my sixth V. When you make a magic circle, you sometimes have this little bit of yarn that's here and you'll just ignore that piece. Okay, so now we have six single crochet into a magic circle and we'll move on to option one. What I personally like to do and one of your options to mark your stitches are to grab your stitch marker and mark the last stitch of the round. So we would place the stitch marker in our last stitch. We would move on to the next stitch and that would be considered round two. For our imaginary pattern, we have an increase in each stitch around. So I'm just gonna do that as we make our way to the end of this round. Cause I wanna show you how you would work into that stitch and then change your stitch marker. If you're just starting out learning how to crochet in the round, I would suggest to try both options and then see which one seems easier for you in the end. Because I mark my last stitch of the round, I'm gonna work into that stitch. So I will make my last increase, my single crochets, into that stitch with the stitch marker. I leave the stitch marker in while I crochet and I just go right into that stitch and make my increase. After you make your last stitch, you would change your stitch marker into the last stitch of round two. I personally like not to think, I just like to crochet until I hit that stitch marker. I work into the stitch marker and then I change it. This is the end of round two and then I will start round three. This is the first option on how you can mark your rounds. On to option two. Once again, we have our six single crochet into a magic circle. Instead of marking our last stitch of the round, we're gonna mark the first stitch of the round. So we did round one, we're gonna work into round two. So we're making an increase, that's two single crochet. We're gonna make our first single crochet of round two. We're gonna grab our stitch marker and mark the first stitch of round two. We would then continue on with our increase in that same stitch and then continue making an increase all the way around for round two. I once did a crochet poll to see if people marked the last stitch of the round or the first stitch of the round, and it seems that most people, or it seemed like a lot of people marked the first stitch of the round. So try both ways and see which way your brain likes better. We are continuing to crochet all the way around, and what we would do is stop right before our stitch marker. So that stitch right before your stitch marker is the last stitch that you would work into. This is the last stitch of round two. So we would make our increase. Now we are done with round two. For round three, you would continue crocheting. To show you how we would move on for round three, I'm gonna take out my stitch marker. I'm gonna work into this stitch here. I'm gonna make a single crochet. I'm gonna mark my first stitch of round three. I would continue crocheting all the way around and then stop in that stitch right before my stitch marker. This is option two of marking your stitch. So let me know in the comments below which option you guys prefer or what you like better or if you switch it up because sometimes I also switch it up depending on what I'm crocheting. If you don't have a stitch marker but you wanted to try this out, you could go ahead and grab a piece of yarn. You want a contrasting color so you don't get confused with using the same color. We have our six single crochet into a magic circle and what you would do is place that piece of yarn in between your round one and your round two. Continue crocheting into round two like you normally would. We just did an increase in each stitch around. Once we reach the end, we're gonna treat that piece of yarn as if we were marking the first stitch of our round. So we would stop right before the yarn and make our increase into this last stitch of round two. We would stop here, 
and we would bring our yarn to the front between round two and round three. So you can just lay that piece down and now you would start round three. We're gonna go into that first stitch of round three and then I will show you one more time how we would mark the round. We are reaching the end of round three. We know it's the end because the gray yarn is telling us that that is the first stitch of round four. So we're gonna work into this last stitch of round three here. We're gonna take our gray piece of yarn and we're gonna pull it towards the back and then we would work on round four. You would continue this until the end. The satisfying part is to pull out that yarn when you're all done and then that's it. That's using your yarn to mark your stitches. Let me know in the comments below which way you like the best or if you tend to use both like me. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials and crochet alongs and check out yarnsociety.com for free amigurumi patterns.